We read in the Pasha how the rain was on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. And just six verses later, the verse tells us, and the flood was on the earth for 40 days. Why does the language switch? The water is first called the rain, and afterwards, just shortly afterwards, it's called the flood. Rashi addresses this question. He answers that at first it's called the rain because Hashem was giving them a chance to repent. As they saw the rain falling and falling and falling and the water level rising higher and higher and higher, up until the point that they started drowning, they were able to repent. The entire world was able to repent. And if they had repented, all that water would have been water of blessing. It would have been water that would have nourished their crops and their fields and their fruit trees. But since they didn't repent, so then the water became flood water. Then it was the waters of flood, the waters that killed them. The message here is that we always have a chance to repent. No matter how much we've messed up, no matter how many mistakes we've, we've made, no matter how lost we are, no, ma no matter how much we've sinned, and even though we sin continuously and continuously, we keep making the same mistakes, the same errors. We keep showing the same lack of judgment, the same lack of self-control. Nevertheless, we always have a chance to correct. We are always given, until the very mo last moment, as long as we're here, as long as we're in this world, we can always correct. Whatever we've done wrong, we can always correct. And it's an amazing idea, because this people had stubbornly, for 120 years, Noach had been speaking to them about the depravity of the generation. And the ark itself was a silent criticism. It stood there as a, as a monument of criticizing them, and of castigation, of of rebuking them, a monument of rebuke, that a flood is coming. And yet they poo pooed it, they ignored it, they scoffed it, they mocked it, they walked away from it, they ignored it. And to the last moment, Hashem continued to give that generation a chance. This is a message for us. The message is, as late as we think it is, and as, as, and as wrong as we are, and as wrong as we have gone, and as lost as we are, we can always correct. We can always correct. And when we look at the world scene also, there's so, so many things we're anxious about. There's so many things we're uncertain about. We're uncertain about peace. Will there be peace in the world? Peace in Israel? We worry about assimilation. The, the tremendous down, downtrend of the Jewish people. So many Jews who, who are lost to Yiddishkeit. We worry about economics. The, the, the unemployment. The economic situation in the world. There's so much uncertainty in this world. We have to know that this uncertainty is also, it's floodwaters that are getting higher and higher. This uncertainty is also for our benefit that we can take this opportunity to choose to do the right thing, to turn our lives, to face our lives, and to face our futures in the right direction, to point ourselves in the right direction for our own success, happiness, and blessing, and for a very, very wonderful year for ourselves, for our communities, and our people.